Yo, what's going on people? It's Man Like Jamo, traditional style review today fam. No face, no case, just the product and you guys and the link in the description section below. We've got a little mini PC here. Um, yeah, literally gonna unbox it now. Let's see what I've gone. Okay, now this is the thing. Can you, can you guys see that? Oh wait, hold on, let me let me sort out the focus, one sec. Okay, so that's the front of the product. Got a little Intel inside sticker there. Got the little QN logo on the top. You got USB 1, USB 2, USB 3. You got USB 4 on the back. So it looks like, just judging by the color, USB 1 and 2 are USB 3.0, maybe 3.1, 3.2. Um, and USBs 3 and 4 are USB 2.0. Just judging by the color alone, fam. You got a little DC power port there. Two HDMI ports, one LAN port for your Ethernet cable, and you got a 3.5 millimeter combination jack for plugging in a microphone a headphone a headset with both basically on the bottom um not really much going on you got some rubber feet which have some screws underneath that allow you to remove the motherboard from the housing um let me just show you that quickly real quick. yeah you kind of have to is it push it up or push it in i don't usually strip the pc down this early into the video but why not we're here in it Okay, get the lid off. Oh yes, there's a little there's a little ribbon cable attaching the lid to the rest of the thing. So make sure you don't pull it off too hard and rip that. Have I already ripped it? Nope, it's still attached. We love to see it. It's not even a ribbon cable. It's just like a normal cable cable. All right, so inside the thing, it looks pretty much simple. This little thing with the fan um, looks like a cute little mini graphics card, actually. Um, but you've got replaceable m.2 or is it SATA ssd in there um so yeah that's that's yes a SATA ssd so that's not too bad um i can't see where the wi-fi chip is so that must be soldered on and the cpu i'm assuming is underneath this fan thing um so yeah pretty much simple in there if you did want to give it a little ssd upgrade now also inside the box Obviously, we've got a little got a little power port, little power port here. We love to see it. You've got some screws. I'm not even sure what these screws are for. You've got a little mounting bracket. Um, so this kind of looks like what I've seen in a previous mini computer where you're able to mount the computer to the back of a monitor. Um, so yeah, that'd be good for you know getting that desk tidy, wireless looking kind of experience. And you got some instructions in there. So no video cables in the box whatsoever. Okay, so we've got the thing plugged in now. It was pretty much simple, guys, literally. All right, and this is the PC right here, fam. So I think what we'll do in normal fashion, going to Task Manager, let's see what we got under the hood, fam. Now for the CPU, looks like we've got Intel Celeron N5105 at two gigahertz. You can see it's doing its thing there. We've got four cores here, so not the worst even though it is a Celeron kind of thing. Um, we got eight gigabytes of RAM at the moment. Half of it is being used by nothing, but you know, seems to be moving pretty solidly. Um, as for the SSD, we got the Lexar 256 gigabyte in there and that seems to be okay. Wi-Fi is doing its thing, and the GPU is the Intel UHD graphics fam. So just the bog standard, not actually dedicated graphics, obvious. Um, but yeah, no, it seems to be okay though. Seems to be living. Let's pop open some tabs, or open up a little bit of Chrome in real time, show you how that runs. Um, yeah. I'm not bad, a little bit, little bit slow to load up there, but pretty much okay. It's loaded. I mean, it's loaded. Let me just play a video. There we go. Video is being played. Yep. Yeah, next video is being played. Next video is being played. Not mad at that at all. Performance seems pretty much decent. Let me just open up another tab. Um, what should we open up in this tab? Let's open up Amazon in this tab, for example. Um, let's search for this PC itself. BQN Mini PC. Yep. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. We've got some mini PCs there. None of them are this actual PC though. I must have typed it in wrong. I think it's because I put i7 there. If I just move that, then we should be able to get this itself. I, I can't find can't find it there, guys. But the link is in the description section below. I mean, guys, yeah, this this looks fine. Let me let me try and open up something else. Maybe some Netflix or something, perhaps. Net go. There we go, guys. Look, see, like the the graphics in terms of watching in HD. This looks good. Netflix looks all right. No issues with that displaying on my 2K monitor at all. One thing I wanted to see though is whether it can stretch across my whole screen. So let's try that. Now, just to show you guys the options for resolution, we've got 5120 by 1440p up here. One time. There we go. We're at max resolution there, fam. That this monitor can handle. 
and it looks like this little mini PC is able to handle it with no issue at all fam. Not the most smooth experience I've ever had though. I feel like we're at about, hmm, this is definitely not 60 frames per second. Ah, that explains it. At the moment, at 5120 by 1440p, this is at 29 hertz, so 30 frames per second fam. So yeah, that's why it doesn't look as smooth as I would have thought it would. However, I'm recording this at 30 frames per second anyway, so you guys not might be able to tell the difference. Ah, now we are able to get 60 hertz, but if we want 60 hertz, we have to do 3840 by 1080p, so that's two 1080p displays. And yeah, this is this is not too bad. This is not too bad. And I think part of that might be a limitation from the HDMI cable in the first place. There we go. So leave this HD video on. That's doing its thing over there. Then over here, we got this. Yeah, guys, you know what? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. You got the Celeron processor in there. Obviously, that's not going to play Crisis. You got eight gigabytes of RAM, which is going to bottleneck the full potential that you could get out of the Celeron in the first place. But you've got 256 gigabytes of SSD that you can upgrade if you want to. You got two HDMI slots, so you can do the dual screen monitor setup thing. And you've got four USB ports in the device itself, I'm two of them being USB 3.0 as well. So as far as I'm concerned, you've got pretty much everything you need to get a little work from home setup, small, small entertainment setup up and going fam. The only thing for me would be the RAM, yeah? Like when you're getting multiple, and I mean like 10 programs open in the background, you're gonna have to start closing them or the computer is going to start slowing down. Maybe if you upgrade the SSD, you can use some of that SSD as that temporary RAM thing, a paging file basically, so that you can use up some of the SSD as RAM in it. But um, apart from that price, it's not too bad.